Hello, everyone. Lately, I have been taking a deep dive into gut health and the studies have been so compelling. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about celium husk. And I don't mean Metamucil. Most of us know celium husk because of Metamucil. Celium husk has some pretty compelling studies out there. And let me tell you why I think we should be interested in them. Now, a lot of us know about celium husk and how it helps with constipation and Metamucil. But there's there's some other aspects of it that I think we need to pay attention to. In the celium husk studies, the individuals that it helped the most were the individuals that don't have great microbiomes and were sick. Now, that's the part that caught my attention. So the individuals that were healthy, celium husk helped, but not as much as the individuals that didn't have great microbiomes. The significant changes occurred in the individuals that needed help with their microbiomes. Now, celium husk feeds certain bacteria and that those bacteria, I'm not going to bore you with all of the long technical names, but those particular bacteria produce short chain fatty acids. Now, why is that significant to us? It's significant because that's what helps produce butyrate and butyrate helps us with mucosal inflammation and it helps us with the defense barrier. Broken down into very simple terms, this is what helps us with the gut barrier. And this helps us keep bacteria and other types of molecules from entering the bloodstream. Have you ever ate a meal and then felt miserable after? I have joint pain, muscle pain, skin pain, you name it. I know when I've eaten something that I shouldn't have eaten and it, my body just becomes completely inflamed and rebels in every way. That's because my gut barrier isn't healthy and I am leaking bacteria and molecules into my own bloodstream, which then creates a ton of inflammation. Butyrate is what helps us keep that barrier healthy. Now, I don't know about you, but I went down a lane of a lot of keto type diets. And for some reason, it was always extremely low in dietary fiber. So when I first started introducing psyllium husk, I had to go at an extremely slow rate and actually adding it in by an eighth of a teaspoon at a time. Now that sounds dramatic, but honestly, the smallest amount of psyllium husk and I was just miserable. My body didn't know what to do with it because it had been so long since I had had psyllium husk and other types of fibers. I literally went an eighth of a teaspoon for a week and then would add in another eighth of a teaspoon the second week and slowly built up. And now I am at half of a tablespoon on most days and sometimes even less than that if I notice I start to have problems. I made a really short video about how I'm able to put the psyllium husk into my protein shake and how I start my day with psyllium husk. But if you're on this journey with me, please do not start eating a ton of fiber really quickly. You have to go very slow and step by step. So step by step is my motto for this year on gut health. In the past, gut health has always confused me. And what I was doing was getting stuck in the phases of not eating certain foods. It was really easy for me to take out certain foods. But the part that I wasn't understanding or getting was how to add the good foods back in to help protect the gut. So this year I'm on a mission for gut health. And you're going to hear me talk about this a lot because until I can get at the root of the gut health, I'm not going to be able to get any better than what I am right now. And don't get me wrong. I've come a really long way with using supplements diet changes, exercising, anything that I was able to add in, I have come a really long way, but I still have a long way to go. And I think that nailing down gut health is where it's at for me right now. So moving forward, what I plan to do is talk about what I'm adding into my diet, how I'm adding it in, and just going step by step extremely slowly. Because I, you just can't dive right in and add a whole bunch of stuff into your diet when you're as sick as we currently are. And I don't know about you, but I can't do anything super, super fast, no really fast changes, or my body just doesn't like it. So if you want to see how I incorporate the foods or supplements that I talk about on these videos, go to the short form videos 
That's where I'm going to show you how I'm eating it or what I'm incorporating it into, how I'm changing my daily life so that I can start to incorporate the things that I'm reading about in the studies that I feel compelled to do. So to quickly wrap this up, psyllium husk helps us to create short chain fatty acids. Those short chain fatty acids help us produce butyrate. Butyrate is what's helping us protect the gut barrier. And I have no doubt that my gut barrier is horrible because there are many foods that I cannot eat without it having a terrible food sensitivity type of reaction. All right. I hope all of that made sense and I'll see you guys in the next video.